Michelle Bachman's home district is a nexus for teen suicide. Yesterday, Mother Jones came out with a story linking a rash of teen suicides in the 38,000 student Anoka Hennepin School District in Minnesota to Michelle Bachman, the anti-gay presidential candidate. Nine kids who were bullied for being gay or for being different killed themselves in Bachman's district over the past two years. Bachman has made no public statements on the issue, but local groups that support her have played a key role in blocking gay straight alliances on campuses and to retarding anti-bullying measures. Here's the thing. It's a real stretch to pin this on Bachman, as virulently homophobic as she and her husband may be. She'd been out of high school for a long time, and even if groups she's alike with are a part of the problem, one can assume she hasn't taken her eyes off national politics long enough to really get involved in the local school district. But Bachman has been a foe of anti-bullying legislation, and at a time when this is an issue of national concern, it's worth going over her stance. From Mother Jones, in 2006, Bachman attended a hearing on an anti-bullying bill in the state legislature and voiced her opinion that bullying was simply a fact of life. She told state lawmakers, I think for all of us our experience in public schools is there have always been bullies, always have been, always will be. I just don't know how we're ever going to get 2.0 tolerance and what does it mean? What will be our definition of bullying? Will it get to the point where we are completely stifling free speech and expression? Will it mean that what form of behavior will there be? Will we be expecting boys to be girls? Don't expect Bachman to comment on the teen and LGBT suicides in her district anytime soon. She's been studiously avoiding mention of her anti-gay stances in public of late. But if you care about the issue, there's plenty of documentation of her previous stance on it. Michelle Bachman has no comment on the teen suicide epidemic in her own backyard. The hating presidential astronaut Michelle Bachman represents a district of Minnesota which public health officials have labeled a suicide contagion area, according to a deeply disturbing piece in Mother Jones. Here's why, in the space of two years, nine teenagers from the area have taken their own lives the most recent one in May while many more have attempted suicide unsuccessfully. Most of them were known or perceived to be LGBT youth. This rash of suicides began when a 7th grader named Samantha Johnson, new to the area after her family had moved from North Dakota, had shot herself on Veterans Day 2009 with a hunting rifle. Samantha was a chubby, tomboyish girl who played sports, and was teased mercilessly by the other members of her volleyball team. Hers began a wave of similar suicides in the 38,000 student Anoka Hennepin School District, the largest in Minnesota. At least four of the suicides involved kids known or at least perceived by their peers to be LGBT. Since January, seven of FedEx students at Anoka Middle School have been hospitalized for attempting or threatening suicide. Anoka Hennepin has a policy on the books known alone really is no homo promo, which dates in back to the mid-1990s. Back then, after several emotional school board meetings, the district essentially wiped gay people out of the school health curriculum. There could be no discussion of homosexuality, even with regard to HIV and AIDS, and the school board adopted a formal policy that stated school employees could not teach that homosexuality was a normal, valid lifestyle. As for Ms. Bachman, she has made a grand total of zero comments on the teen suicide epidemic in her own district. None. In fact, she has voted against proposed anti-bullying legislation, making the following mind-bogglingly insensitive statement on the matter at a hearing in 2006. I think for all of our experience in public schools is there have always been bullies, always have been, always will be. I just don't know how we're ever going to get 2.0 tolerance and what does it mean? What will be our definition of bullying? Will it get to the point where we are completely stifling free speech and expression? Will we be expecting boys to be girls? Anoka Hennepin's no pro homo policy has been amended slightly in recent years. Teachers and school staff are now instructed to remain neutral on the subject of homosexuality if it ever comes up in class. Both policies were championed by the Minnesota Family Council and the Parents Action League, which also lobbied to make reparative therapy part of the official school curriculum. That's the gay deprogramming technique practiced by Bachman's husband, Marcus Bachman, Bat Bachman and Associates his sham of a Christian counseling clinic. Michelle Bachman has no comment on the teen suicide epidemic in her own backyard.